Hi guys, welcome to Seven Man Show with me, your host Sean. Well, I went to do a live stream, I had to cancel it because my daughter, came, lovely daughter came in. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know some of you asked about it. I will be talking about the EV bubble, the Bitcoin bubble and workhorse if we have time. Now, I'm not going to go through all the companies that have run up because uh, that I've mentioned because don't have time for that and that's not my style but but I'm gonna go through what I think is a bubble or the beginning of a bubble firstly we're gonna have a look at a few things uh, sorry I have to get it. Fuzzy Panda and yeah, MP material have reported almost treble uh, year on year. Now, uh, all right. now we have uh, a Sorry, I'm a bit unprepared for this. Uh, yeah, we spoke about DPW. Uh, basically, Mara, Pay and, and Raya. And basically, if you didn't get into them, Isaiah is one that's a bit slower running up behind them. Why is Bitcoin in a bubble? Well, Bitcoin's in a bubble because You have the people who are bullish on the market and people who are bearish, as always. But the people who are bearish on the market are just incredibly bearish. They're not, and they have nowhere else to put their money because these people are worried that these bro all these brokerages going down all together. And I reported on this. All these. Uh, warnings the banks are giving out about being light switched well they're implying they're being light switched means people won't be able to get their money so they're going into bitcoin and of course it's raising these sort of things but you can expect the likes of paypal and square as well to gain off it now, main one is Blink and Switchback Energy. They're the two I want to talk about because you have Blink. Well, now, a long time ago, I said, well, not a long time ago, a few weeks ago, I said how, how Blink is down so low, it'll be worth going into them now blink making a loss now they should be making a profit soon they you can see here how they have very little on the balance sheet whereas switchback energy They have 620 million on there. Well, not Switchback Energy. Uh, Chargepoint, who are merging with them, have 620 million on their balance sheet. They have 120 million income. So, really, Blink should be 20% of their market cap. It's 1.3 billion. So, my question is. Why is Blink 1.06 1.086 billion? You know, so 
Either blink is uh, extremely high or switchback energy is too low. Personally, I think it's a bit of both. However, when a share of mine makes, because I got in at 1050 on switchback energy, but uh, when a share of mine makes a 30%, 300% uh, run up, I, I take my initial investment out. So if it does correct, it will, it doesn't affect me. Now, I'm going to talk about why the EVs suddenly all running up at the same time. The EVs are running up at the same time because the Trump administration has suddenly recognised Biden's uh, authority. Workhorse will run up because uh, Biden cannot interfere in any government funds or postal services and while and the GSA does not recognise him as the electoral winner and they have just come out today and said they recognise him as the electoral winner and the thing is We can see um, institutional ownership. People will be making a large thing about how one of the directors has sold ten percent of his stake. But that is still 10% of his stake. He still has to live. And he gets paid by share. With his shares. Now let's go back to what we were speaking about. Now. I mentioned this tweet yesterday. And as I said. Don't put too much credence behind it. People didn't at the time. This is what you should be putting credence behind. The fact that uh, Lordstown Motors are having free construction sites rising around it. Apparently, so is uh, Workhorse, but I can't confirm that. This is what their faces look like when they're asked about the award, contract award. And you can see that the all wheel drive is an option. Now, that's what my happened when I left my computer on yesterday. And uh, here is the thing about the uh, GSA informing federal departments of decision to begin Biden transition. Now, they need to uh, ascertain him to be the winner before you can have any effect on that. And this is the big one. Trump administration officially authorising him. If they didn't, then it could be a contested election. Work or ARC has been picking it up again because it's gone up to number 10 in there. Because uh, it's gone up to number 10 in there. Uh, portfolio and as I said MP materials have been doing well and this is what Fuzzy Panda looks like now now the other thing sorry about that I nearly forgot is I want to clarify something this from uh, yesterday the beat, oh sorry, that's the COVID cases. Uh, the beta sound gov uh, record that I was uh, that I put up 
remember I did a bearish and bullish case because people were going crazy over it on stock twits now if you remember I said her do not use that as your basis some people said to me how it is it is great news and I uh, wanted you to, I wanted to uh, let you know do not use that as your basis that is from 2016 Be because that was when they put the contract out to tender so that they could put on their side what type of trucks the company specialise in now as I said before a company called Rigid secures order with Workhorse Group to supply cooling module for EV battery cooling now the, I said about all the, them having the refrigerated trucks this is about cooling the battery you keep the battery cool you can um, it performs better now the, I still think the refrigerated battery uh, refrigerated trucks is so it can uh, deliver the vaccines and that uh, in April is when the vaccine rollout will be and that's the same time when they will be trialing trucks the the drone horsefly drone was originally trialed to deliver medical supplies to hospital it got effort, it got an initial approval for that so i think they will get approval for this and as i said who better to get the contract to deliver vaccines to the american people than the usps I just think it all lines up I've been asked about who supplies this who supplies that they got uh, they did have supply issues with their old batteries suppliers and they brought Romeo group on board to solve those issues so now Romeo group are uh, have a new contract with them so Romeo may be a good hedge because they also have contracts with the likes of Leon and a number of others. The body is done by TPI Composites who also do the big blades. I've done a video on that before as well. And if you really want to stretch yourself thin, you know, if you're thinking I've made enough of a profit, I'll pull some money out and I'll spread it around, diversify because Romeo hasn't gone up enough and if some of these are you might want to put some in rigid if you can I don't know if rigid has uh, I don't know if rigid has a thing but no I can't find rigid on there if you can find rigid then let me know but um, but we know Romeo Group does and it's still low you know I think Romeo is still low but if you look at TPI Composites then you see I said at $30 a share it's at $40 and I think anywhere below $40 is worth it because it does the uh, fans for the wind farms and uh, with Biden in charge you'll be making money from that alone and that is its main source of business if you go on uh, let me see genuine impact and a lot of companies they will and you put in TPI composites 
Let me go down the description. Uh, see, composite wing blades. They ha haven't updated it with the fact that they make the bodies for workhorse because it hasn't actually been confirmed it's been confirmed on this we have confirmed it with them but you know yeah they haven't gone a year from doing it now these are things you have to decide but anyway I I think that one of two things will happen with EV stocks and cryptos. They will either have a correction or a bubble will form. And you guys might want to take some money off the table, but that is your decision. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show. Me, your host Sean. If you want to help support the channel, don't forget to smash that lovely like button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification if you want to be reminded of when a video gets uploaded. And why not smash the sexy subscribe button? A lot sexier than me. Just ask the wife. And because I upload multiple times a day. And while you're at it, why not comment in the comment box down below? I'm uh, also putting a load of free links in the description box. Why not check them out? And uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform on which to trade your stocks and shares, why not check out Free Trade Trading with 212 and Stake? You get a free share worth up to £200 or dollars uh, for signing up and depositing a small amount. So...